lecture four, how to uh, know supply and it's demand signal. Okay. There's a, it's an early name. Um, supply so and demand. Question. Supply and demand. How we understand this? When the bullish candlestick form in the market, that is the demand. Yes. 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 You know, so when bearish candlestick form in the market, that is the other. supply. Okay. Yes. yes. Question so is other, sir. Trendy market. All yes. the rejection yes. yes. are okay. Okay. On pull back, but the volume candle is high, not a small. Why? Okay. All rejection are okay. All rejection are okay. Uh, on pull back, but the volume candle is high, not a small. So it may high or it may long. It's not a big issue. Okay, sir. Just we have to in the trend. Just we have to observe two things. First of all, we have to observe the trend. Okay. When downtrend, we have to see only the bullish candlesticks volume. Okay. The bullish candlesticks volume, we will not observe each and every bullish candlestick. Our mm -hmm. signal candlestick we have only observed. In the downtrend market, which color we have to observe? Green color. Mm -hmm. Because yes, yes. red color sellers, they are very stronger. Yes, yeah. We have to go with the sellers. That's why no need to go, no need to observe the bearish candlesticks volume. Only bullish candlesticks volume we have to observe. Okay, we got this signal now. This is inverted hammer candlestick. Now yeah, this candlestick yeah. volume is low. See, now, see, this is our perfect signal. Why this is our perfect signal? Because this candlestick volume is low and is the pin butt type candlesticks, inverted hammer type candlestick, and we can call it the doji type candlesticks. Okay? Great, sir. Understood, sir. That means it's very weak. After mm -hmm. weakness by the buyer side, who will enter? Definitely sellers will enter. From higher sellers will enter from a resistance level. So this level, this uh, EMA line will act as a resistance level when market below, level above. So when this candlestick hit this resistance level, we just place our trade exactly at the resistance level here to the downward direction for three minutes, we will win here. Great, sir. Okay. So now see, All right. again, another signal we got, these candlesticks. So yeah. that means it's our signal. That is the spinning top candlesticks. Okay, we got a spinning top candlesticks. So now, that means our signal is okay. Now, which area we have to um, uh, place our trade? From which area? From any seller's area. So where is our, so, our seller's area? Seller, we can draw SNR level. We can draw only resistance level. We can draw SNR level. Okay? Yeah. Or only resistance level. Or... We can okay. take we can take any other level like this type of EMA line when breakout happen below this EMA line uh, when this uh, candlestick hit this EMA line that is the resistance level it will act as a resistance level so when this candlestick hit this level we can place a trade here three minute down so this is one candlestick first candlestick second candlestick third candlestick this is our winning trade great sir okay now see in one area. We can get uh, so many signal and so many of winning trade we can easily uh, get. But just we have to observe the perfect opportunity and we have to observe the perfect signal also. Now this is looking like inverted hammer candle, but it's not any proper inverted hammer candlestick or a spring top candlestick. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because inverted hammer candlestick should like this type of body is very weak. At least mm -hmm. uh, weak size is double than its body. But here the upper wigs and body almost same size mm -hmm. that's why we can't take this one now this one this see this one this is perfect signal yeah perfect signal spinning top candle so the after spinning, spinning top. top candlestick after spinning top candlestick what we can do now just we can observe volume volume, volume. condition Volume is low, definitely it's our signal. Now, what our logic? Our logic, we have to draw SNR level, we have to draw resistance level, we have to draw uh, uh, a previous support level after breakout, that support will act as a resistance level. Like see, this one. Yeah. 
support 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 after breakout when this candlestick hit this uh, support le previous support level that will act as a resistance level now so now we can place our trade three minute down one two three this is a so now see this is a signal volume is higher than minimum previous two candlestick bar after this signal from which area we have to place our trade from this round to number level so if we place our trade here so this is the first candle second candle third candle third candle close below the round number level definitely it's our winning trend <laughs> this one again our signal based on this signal <laughs> we can place our trade here to the downward action for three minutes so one Great. two three this is our winning trade here Great, so sir. if we can understand the main logic definitely again and again we will get so many opportunities and that will give us winning just we have to wait for a perfect opportunity and we have to wait for a perfect entry point mm -hmm. okay if we after okay. this signal try to understand after this signal if we directly place our trade here immediately definitely it's a loss yeah because it's not our seller's area seller's area is here round number level mm -hmm. that's why we have to place our trade from exact area to exact. the direction of the trend okay okay sir so that's the logic thank you okay here <clears throat> elixir 4 vsa mm, trendy market yes mm, low rejection pull back with lower rejection okay pull back with lower rejection yes, yes. No supply. this is no supply so no, no supply, supply that means sellers almost finish but we have yeah. to take this volume very low okay this candlestick volume more low here like this type of when market create very low volume very low like this here than previous all other oh. then only this is our signal okay after that signal what we have to do we have to just draw level which level demand area demand zone we have to draw support means demand area demand zone okay so when okay. after weakness by the seller side supply when low supply when finish then demand will again start so demand will again start from which area from demand area this is the demand area this is a support area support zone from this yes, support demand, area. demand demand will start from this support point demand will start so yes, we can just start. place our trade here to the upward direction that will give us win